At Origin Lab, we are introducing a number of new tools in our newest version that make it easy to restructure data. In this video, we will introduce the time series pivot, which uses a date time column to rebuild data according to user defined intervals. Right now, this data was daily temperature readings from 1970 to 2024. In this format, it's tough to see the meaningful trends in data over the last 50 years. If we select the Y data, we can go to the Restructure menu to open the Time Series Pivot dialog. The layout of this dialog is pretty straightforward, but it's a very powerful tool. Up top, we can make sure we have our X and Y columns properly selected. Below, we can describe how we would like to restructure our data. Let's imagine we're looking for overall trends in the winter temperatures over the years. We can keep our rows simple. Let's just do one decade per row. Along each row, let's list each month of the year. With this setup, each column will represent one month, and the value of each cell will aggregate that month's data for every year it occurs in our data set. Finally, we can select the way the data is aggregated. Since we are interested in average monthly temperatures, let's leave it set to mean. Click OK to view the output. The format of our data is now much more powerful for our interests. However, since we're really only interested in the winter months, let's reopen the time series pivot dialog and set start to the 12th month and set end to February. In under a minute, we have transformed our two column data into a pivot table that directly informs our research. To get the new time series pivot and many other new tools, please visit originlab.com 2025. Thank you, and as always, happy graphing!